Good morning. Welcome to another day in Vermont. First snowfall, really, of any uh, significance. We could have stayed uh, home in the warm comfort of the studio with coffee brewing, etc. But we decided we should uh, take uh, take all you folks out here and experience Vermont. We're going to take a walk into Mineral Springs Park here in Middletown Springs, my hometown, and capture the uh, the Spring House and the Pulteney River running alongside it. And I, I've I've done a little sketch already, so I know the subject. The uh, the question going through my mind as I get this out is, if if the snowflakes didn't get any wetter than this. I might be able to uh, get a painting done, but I've painted in snow like this before and it tends to uh, get everything uh, on the painting so wet it, it just drools right off. So I guess I'm going to take the, uh, make the effort to set up this quick little pop-up tent so we're, we're sheltered from the uh, elements. Bridges freeze before roads, so be careful. I think it makes all the sense in the world to paint with the mineral springs water. That's the magic elixir right there. Legend has it that the Indians showed the townspeople the spring and it was uh, used after that. And in 1811, I believe it was, there was a major flood that wiped out a lot of the, the area and covered up the springs. The, the Pulteney River uh, flooded that year and Today we're going to try to oh, resurrect the spirit of those times a little bit and add a little bit of history to our painting. I love the wet days for many reasons and one of my favorite things is the contrast in the trees when they get wet between the, the tree and the moss on the trees is really, really interesting. Uh, those greens and blue greens going up the, the, the tree, you don't even notice them when it's dry but when it's wet, um, that contrast really pops and uh, I, I definitely want to get some of that going on the trees. trees back there. Rather than paint every individual tree, I'll put in a overall tone.
if you compare my painting with the scene, I've done a fair number of changes to compact it into a, a tighter uh, uh, composition. It's kind of spread out down there, but I wanted to get the, the river, the benches, and the, uh, the spring house all uh, working together as a team, and that's what composition is all about. Authenticity. That's what it's all about. Vermont PBS, partnering with local filmmakers to bring you stories made here. For more, visit vermontpbs.org.